You are about to watch my video demonstrating how stained glass is made. Cutting the glass, putting the glass in the lead, soldering the lead, applying the cement and handing the finished product over to the delighted client. Please enjoy. Hi, I'm Emma Blunt and we're going to be making this. First of all, you have to make a template for to sh cut the glass out with. So we choose the glass for each piece, the colour of glass. This is already made, came in this colour, this glass, so I'm ma matching that flower. And you put it on your template. And the glass is cut out with a, a, a cut glass cutter. So it's got a tungsten wheel on the end. And then I'm going to scratch it. It has to make that sound, the scratching sound and then you just break it. But this is hand blown glass from English Antique Glass. It's very beautiful. My favorite place to buy glass. So you lay it on there and then you can do a curve on the inside of the line. And then, because um, this is a curve, I have to do a few others. Breaking it off with my grosing pliers. So now I am painting the glass. I've cut all the glass out and I'm painting it. I am using a mixture of lead oxides and ground glass to do, uh, and it's mixed with vinegar. Sometimes you mix it with oil. Um, I take the glass I've cut out and I lay it on my design and then I draw, I paint on it. When you have painted each piece of glass, you put it in the kiln and fire it to 650 degrees centigrade. This fuses the glass paint with the glass so that it will never come off. You apply the glass paint in layers, leaving the application of the coloured enamel to the end. So that's all the pieces painted. Now I'm going to put the glass in the lead. I'm going to um, cut the lead with the lead knife. Half inch lead goes on the outside of the, of the panel and um, five millimeter lead that goes everywhere else. It's got a cross section of an H um, and it's malleable. So I'm going to put tallow on the joints, so I'm soldering the joints. You put the solder on the joint and you hold the soldering iron onto that. In a few seconds lift it up. Now I am putting the cement on the window. The cement is goopy stuff that makes the panel rigid and it makes it waterproof. So I squish, I squash the cement in between the lead and the glass. Then you leave it overnight for the cement to dry. Then you clean off the, you clean the cement off the pan. And I give it to the client. Oh, that's lovely. There you are. That's lovely. Thank you so much for watching my video telling you how you make stained glass windows. I do hope you enjoyed it. Isn't it brilliant? If you or your community would like a stained glass window, please click on my contact button and tell me what you would love. I can do anything you want. Goodbye.